everybody. Hey. How are you guys doing this evening? Hey. Hi. Hi. What is going on, everybody? So I just wanted to come on here. I was sitting here getting some notes and lectures together. Thank you. I was getting some notes and some lectures together um, about the diabetes program, right? And I was just thinking about the massive amount of people. Hi. I was just thinking about the massive amount of people that are suffering with diabetes. And it's so sad because diabetes is such an avoidable disease. Even type 1. Even type 1. Um, I have so much scientific research that shows that type 1 diabetes is avoidable. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys, you know, I, I am just, I am just like really in a place. Hey! I'm really in a place because I really want to um, really get you guys in the right frame of mind. I know we all, um, you know, in the medical industry, especially with type 1 diabetes, they tell you, oh, well, we don't know the cause of it, so there's no cure. So um, you just have to deal with it, you know, for the rest of your short life, right? And that's basically the approach that they take uh, in this country with type 1 diabetes. Whereas in other countries, um, they really are doing some aggressive things to get rid of it. And so I did a lot of researching um, under the medical journals over in Europe, especially Denmark and Finland to be precise. And they have isolated the trigger to a type 1 diabetes to two sources. Um, the first, of course, is cow milk. Um, they have found that the bovine growth hormone um, in some ways mimic the amino acid chain of our beta cells, which is why our immune system attacks it. Um, the second thing that they have found is a viral um, agitator that usually comes from certain vaccines. So they found these two different things that are catalysts for type 1 diabetes, which is really just your immune system attacking the pancreas and the, and the beta cells. And they are reversing, they are regrowing people's beta cells over in Europe. They are. And so with that being said and done, it's so sad when I'm online and I see people and I say something like type 1 diabetes can be reversed and you have these people that get really aggressive just like those pro-vaxxer people you know they get so aggressive and they're you don't know what you're talking about you're just saying things just trying to put things out here and exploit people well I guess the whole European Union is trying to exploit people then because they sure as heck are over there regrowing beta cells I'm trying to tell you guys that all of these man-made diseases can be taken care of. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that everybody that comes to me, I'm going to get their pancreas and their beta cells back flowing. But what I am saying is that there is a chance. Okay? A slight chance is better than no chance. If I was insulin dependent and had to inject myself eight times a day, I would take this chance and try to see if it works. Okay? Is is you know I just I I can't I can't reiterate this enough. And then type two diabetes, type two diabetes is just you've been eating too much and you've overlo overloaded your pancreas and you've just 
degraded it because of your food choices and your eating habits. That stuff can be reversed. But you have to learn. Now you have to go through the whole process of learning what to eat, what not to eat, what times to eat. And that's behavioral modification. That's behavioral modification, folks. And that takes time. You know, it's it's not as simple as somebody telling you, oh, just go eat off the nutritional guide. No, no. It, you have to have more than that. You have to have more than that advice. Um, I found that a lot of diabetics need structure. They need somebody to initially structure their eating regimens, teach them how to eat in certain intervals, teach them about what type of um, cleansings they need to do, um, teach them about how to behave, to modify their behaviors, because a lot of them are chronic binge eaters, emotional binge eaters, okay? And so this, what this new program is about that we're launching is really to kind of help structure people's healing re regimens on a higher level. And of course, the type ones, I have found with the regimens that a lot of the type one diabetics drastically reduce the amount of insulin they're using within the first six months. And I mean drastically. And that has to account for something, right? You know, this whole healing journey is so complex. And, you know, we all, we're in this, we in this uh, day and age where we want everything in five minutes. You know, we don't have patience for anything, right? We don't have patience to lose those 200 pounds that we packed on over 15 years. We don't have patience to reverse our high blood pressure over 12 months time. We don't have patience for anything, right? Um, but this is the one time you have to have patience. Your body has to heal and it takes time. You know, I'm starting to enroll people and that's the first thing that, that the diabetic says, well, how long is this going to take? As long as it needs to. I don't have a time frame on how long it's going to take. Ask yourself how long it's going to take. How long is it going to take you to go from eating the foods you eat over to eating completely plant-based? That's the that's the better question. <laughs> if you want to get technical, right? That's the question that we need to be asking. Not how long it's going to take for healing. How long is it going to take you to get yourself together and, be, and modify your behavior so that your body has the space it needs to heal? Right? So that's the gist of it. You know, I have been um, doing the Master Herbalist classes, right? And it has been amazing. We just started um, class five, class five, entrance five. So we have five different classes now, five. Guys, the time is moving, isn't it? Um, so we have five, five entrance classes now. And so my first class is, they're, they're going into their fifth class. And it's just amazing to see the substantial growth and the development that is taking place in people. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited about the fact that people are really taking this health thing seriously as far as getting educated so they can help other people. You know, God has called people to be apostles of healing. And I am not the only one. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> I am not the only one out here that is called to do this. And I knew when God told me, he was like, you have got to teach other 120 people all the things that you know. And I was like, 120 people? And it's so funny when God first told me that, he first dropped that in my spirit. Because I was like, there ain't no 120 people that want to learn this stuff. And I'd be doggone if I ain't halfway at that mark <laughs> in five months. So I guess it is 120 people out there, right? So I'm not taking any more students this year. I really wanted to spend time and develop the students that I have. And so we're going to resume uh, entrance uh, students, bringing more students in next year. Okay, so January is going to be the next class. So that gives people a time um, since it's going to be uh, three months from now. 
it gives people time, you know, to get their finances in order because it's not free. <clears throat> and I'm not apologetic about it not being free. You know, I, I love when people want to whine. Well, you know, well, well, you know, you ain't making this affordable, blah, 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 whatever they be saying. I don't know what they saying. You better go and ask God for the money and leave me alone. Okay. Because what? where was you at when I was um, in school from the age of three up until uh, I'm still in school. Be honest with y'all. I'm still in school getting degrees for this stuff. I'm just finishing up another degree and um, getting prepared to um, go into medical school. I'm trying to pick which medical school I want to go to. I finally have stopped running from uh, being a doctor, so I decided to go ahead and apply to med school now. <laughs> oh, goodness. So uh, I was going to do my Ph.D., because I have a lot of degrees in psychology, too. And I was going to do my Ph.D. in uh, behavioral modification. Um, but I keep going back and forth. And I said, um, I said, you know what? I think it's just time for me to go ahead and... Thank you. <laughs> I think it's just time for me to go ahead and finally finish going to medical school. And I think that would be so super awesome. Because I was talking to someone today about the uh, advantages of me finishing my medical degree. And I said, do you realize that um, when I finish my medical degree and I get my um, DO, because I'm, I'm not going to be an MD, I'm going to be a DO, um, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. And um, do you realize that I can then bill your insurances for your consultations and stuff? So some of the stuff at least will not be out of pocket anymore. So that would be super awesome, right? I'd be able to build Medicare. I'd be able to build, you know, the Medicaid and all that good stuff, you know? So at least that'll help. I mean, every little bit helps. Um, you still be paying for them herbs because they know insurance paying for them herbs. <laughs> they said forget that. So I just wanted to talk really seriously about this because one of, one of the things that I'm really finding is, and I've been doing this for multiple years, uh, helping people to reverse chronic conditions. There is not one chronic condition out there that I cannot um, reverse if the person cooperates. Okay, I do want to reiterate that because nine out of ten people that don't get what they came for is because they wouldn't stop eating the things that are killing them in all seriousness. And what I'm finding is um, that I, uh, the more I progress in this thing is that people are very fickle. Um, they get, you know, people get all emotionally jacked up, come to you all emotional, scared they're dying. They do right for two weeks. Then the next thing you know, they disappear off the map. Okay. And this is so normal for people. Then they resurface two and three years later, even worse than what they started with when they first came to you. Now, this time the doctor said, there's nothing else I can do for you. And now they're like, uh, what can you help me? And I'm like, how am I supposed to help you? You at your final stage of cancer. You know, it's all kind of weird stuff when people you know go through this type of stuff and i'm just like and trying to really get you guys to understand that you need to stop playing this is not a game out here with your health every single time you stop at that mcdonald's and you already are sick and whether you want to believe it or not if you got to go to a pharmacy and pick up medication you're sick okay you have a problem that needs to be treated and the medicine is not treating it it's controlling it there's a difference and i hate to tell you but there is going to be a day that medicine can no longer uh, tolerate or control that problem especially you high blood pressure people you know it is ridiculous that people are seriously walking around here with high blood pressure and they are not changing their lifestyle that is ridiculous to me. And I just really, really, really sit back sometimes and like, 
do you really seriously understand that if you have high blood pressure, that you have the beginning stages of congestive heart failure or the beginning stages of kidney failure? It ain't no other ways, okay? Well, it is one other way. But that way is nothing going to do anything but just tear your heart up anyway. So I'm not getting into that. If y'all want the mechanisms of all this, join my Master Herbalist class because I teach all this in there. But I'm trying to tell you, if you walking around with high blood pressure and you got to take medication to keep your high blood pressure under control, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are going to skip your little happy self up in the doctor's office probably within the next five to ten years if you just got recently diagnosed or it's going to be sooner than later if you've been on it for a while. But you're going to skip your little self in the doctor's office one day and they're going to be like, Oh, you got congestive heart failure. We just noticed. Sorry. I'm trying to tell you, there's no such thing as you just randomly have high blood pressure. It's linked to your heart or your kidneys, one or the other. This is why I'm really serious when I say I am so over it with people seriously walking around acting like there's nothing wrong with them just because they can pop a pill and they can control their problem. Don't you want to get rid of the problem? Don't you want to live as the Bible promised us we have 120 years on this earth? Wouldn't you like to live to 120? At least wouldn't you like to be able to live to the age you can collect Social Security? Because people are checking out of here in their 40s. Okay, and I'm not talking about every now and again. I'm talking about millions of people are checking up out of this earth in their 40s and 50s. There are millions of people in this country that die every year that ain't nowhere near Social Security age. Y'all playing too much with y'all health. All of this Russian roulette with your health. All it's going to do is have you in the grave crying, you know, crying on your way to a grave. Food is not that serious. And I can say that because I used to be a food addict. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all I was a food addict in all seriousness, I'm talking about dropping a thousand dollars a month on fast food minimum like that. That's how much I used to eat fast food and restaurant food. I was an addict. I constantly was eating fast food, constantly. I used to have cabinets full of Doritos and chips, Cheetos and sodas. I mean, I was like, I never ate cooked food. I loved eating fast food and junk food. And I got to the point in my life where I literally would go get a bag of McDonald's and then stop at the store and get the Doritos and get the pop and have all that together. And that's the type of food I used to eat. You know, I was on my way down. I mean, when I tell y'all I had so many chronic conditions, I was so sick. And that last time in the hospital, when in what was it, 2014? Because I made, I, I switched over this lifestyle November of 2014. Um, so it was around that time. I was in the hospital. And the doctors was like, ma'am, if you keep coming back here, if you keep coming back here with this same pancreas issue, because my pancreas just used to swell up almost to the point where it was going to explode. And they had no idea why. why. Um, they don't never know why they stupid. But anyway, um, so they told me that last time I came back, they was like, ma'am, if you come back again, we're going to remove your pancreas. And I said, how are you going to remove my pancreas? Uh, my pancreas produces insulin. They said, ma'am, we, we just cannot afford to, for your pancreas to explode. And it keeps getting to the point where it's going to explode. And we need to remove it. You'll just have to inject insulin for the rest of your life. When I heard that, it was a wrap. <laughs> I switched so fast. It was a wrap. Okay, I switched. I couldn't even do it. Mm -mm. I said, nope, not me. Nope. Thank you. 
food, you have a blessed and prosperous life. I'm not doing it. And so there we go. There we have it. Ugh. So I just really wanted to come on here with you guys really quick in all seriousness and tell you guys about um, the new diabetic program. My phone just went. My phone was like, it's down to 50%. Oh. So I just really wanted to come on here and tell you guys about the diabetic program in all seriousness because I really want some of you to start getting serious about your health. You know, if we need to, we can start off slow. But I need some of you to do more than what you're doing. Because what you're doing is digging yourself an early grave. And quite frankly, I'm really tired of getting phone calls about people dying. I really need you guys to start being more diligent about your health. In all seriousness. I have a 25-year-old. And you know, I instill my very horrible eating habits onto my children of course because they used to be eating restaurant food with me all the time so my older children are all had very very bad eating habits and so my 25 year old all he eats is meat or fast food and uh so he came to me because he's been having chronic stomach problems for a year won't go to the doctor you know most males don't go to doctors right um, but he came to me the other day and he was like, you know what? I'm ready to just do this. I'm just ready to do this. Let's just do it. Right. And so I've been prepping his food and I, I made him a special cocktail smoothie yesterday. And when he went in that bathroom, he was in that bathroom about 45 minutes. And when he came out, he was like, something exploded in me and it had to all come out oh my gosh what did you put in that smoothie and i am just laughing oh my gosh i was laughing 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 it was so funny but he said today he was like his stomach ain't hurt no more he was like whatever you put in that smoothie it came out his stomach is not hurting I ain't going to tell y'all what I mixed up in that smoothie. But trust me when I say, I'm not a, I'm not just calling myself a master herbalist for no reason. I hooked it up. <laughs> when you said me, you ready. I was like, okay, you ready? Let's go. So, yes, yeah, so I am excited. He is not um ready to go vegan. He wanted to slow transition. So we had to break him down to... um just uh chicken and turkey right now and then he said he's gonna you know go down to pescatarian which is seafood and then go that way well i'm happy i'm just happy that he's you know starting this whole thing so um that's all i wanted to do can i get that recipe <laughs> oh yeah 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 i'm telling you i'm telling you you guys mm. I, I have to uh, I have to make a special I have to make a special um, lecture for that okay I didn't put any herbs in it believe it or not I just know how to I just know how to blend foods different foods I know what the foods are you have to be a student of this lifestyle guys you have to you know there is no way around you having to learn this stuff you can think all day long you're going to get spoon fed and people going to keep giving you this information but sooner or later you're going to have to break down and learn the stuff the stuff yourself go do that get that nutritional guide start looking up online the benefits of all of that stuff on the nutritional guide in all seriousness i may be a master herbalist but i didn't know 80 percent of what was on that nutritional guide in 2014. i had to study look up things research where i can get it from then i had to start experimenting cooking it some of it was nasty i had to learn how to cook it look up recipes on pinterest look on recipes on um what's that other place i got another place dang i got a uh, app that um gives me a bunch of recipes you know and i just started doing that and i started experimenting with the stuff on the nutritional guide until i learned how to cook it all and now i be smoking but that's that's it that's what it is okay good thanks 
Um, but that's what it is, and that's where it has to start. Oh, by the way, the seasoning line. Remember, guys, Flower Harris left her business to me, so I'm starting to um put the seasonings on the website. So the mock garlic is on the website. Okay. The mock garlic is on the website. I put cuz I only made like 5 batches. So it's only like 5 batches when it's gone. I just have to go make some more batches and update. But the mock garlic is on the website. You can buy it. It is ready. Okay. I am going to put on the website the alkaline food boxes cuz I get so many requests for those boxes. So, um, I'm going to put on the website so people can actually be able to just go buy the box off the website. Uh, as well as um, the alkaline season salt is ready to be uh, on the website as well. The Italian herbal blend is ready. So, I'm going to put those on the website as well. And so, those are... I just eat the stuff I can get. Mm -hmm. You can get all of that stuff. It's just about finding where it's at. Okay? Hi! Hey, yep. So um, so just so you guys know, <laughs> so just so you guys know, all of this stuff is going on the website, so that you guys can purchase it. Cause I know a lot of you uh, have been waiting for me to put these seasonings out there. I'm still playing around with um the mock chocolate and the cheddar parm. So I'm not done. Uh playing around with those yet plus i don't have the containers for the mock chocolate yet so that's why those aren't on there yet okay so i am gonna check on out because my phone is dying on me <laughs> but um i just wanted to come on here so if you guys know anybody that is um diabetic we are enrolling for the diabetic program um, we are going to relaunch just so you guys know the high blood pressure program we're going to relaunch um, and I am going to launch a special group for children uh, for parents that have children with um, ADD and ADHD or autism okay so those are some of the groups we're going to be launching in the near future okay all right so what about CMOS what are what are we asking? CMOS is on my website. If you're asking, do I sell it? I'm not really sure what you're asking me. Um, all right, guys. So I am checking on out. I will see you guys later. And you have a blessed and prosperous evening. Bye-bye.